In the last few years, I've made a few videos about this somewhat unusual mystery. The mystery of disappearing or vanishing stars. And though you can find all of these videos in the description below, in a nutshell, they all discussed a very similar concept. Unusual disappearance of stars that used to be visible with older telescopes, with some examples being very extreme. Like here we have an unusual constellation of three stars disappearing in under an hour. And as you can imagine, naturally, these first discoveries created a bit of a mystery. Or actually, a really big mystery. A mystery of disappearing stars. And to date, over a thousand such stars have been discovered, with all of them disappearing in the last few decades. In most cases, they were basically visible by some of the earlier advanced telescopes in the 50s and in the 60s, and could then be no longer visible in the telescopes today. And so, hello, info person, this is Anton. Today, we're going to discuss this mystery once again, and potentially discuss one of the major resolutions or one of the major solutions. And though this might not explain all of the stars, it will definitely explain at least some of these disappearing objects. Although here it's also important to note that this is not the first such explanation. Not so long ago we've discussed another star that also disappeared in 2015, but it was then explained by the James Webb with the video in the description talking about this a little bit more. In a nutshell though, this was just an unusual type of a supernova that did produce certain emissions, we just could not see them in certain frequencies. But because over a thousand such objects have now been discovered, this is probably one of the most intriguing mysteries in the Milky Way. So what exactly is happening here? And more specifically, how can an entire constellation disappear like this? Not surprisingly, when this was initially announced, one of the first more unusual explanations involved Dyson spheres. And so basically here, maybe you were witnessing some kind of an advanced civilization suddenly covering the stars in order to use them as a major energy source. But these explanations were pretty quickly disregarded for one important reason. By design, Dyson spheres should still be emitting certain frequencies, especially infrared light. And this infrared light should be visible with telescopes like, for example, the James Webb. But the locations of these disappearing stars were not producing infrared light either, and were actually not producing anything. And so if not Dyson spheres, maybe the explanations here were much more mundane, with some studies suggesting that maybe this was just basically a problem with the telescope, and specifically maybe this was just accumulation of dust, or some kind of an artifact inside the lens. And though this might make sense for some of these observations that were only conducted once, there were a few stars that were observed by separate telescopes and were missing in all of them. And so this was not a universal explanation either. But the majority of scientists, and I guess the main consensus here was that maybe this was actually some kind of an unusual phenomenon involving the end of life for these stars, where they basically transition into something else without your typical supernova stage, kind of similar to some of the most massive stars that sometimes just collapse directly into a black hole. And in this particular case, if a large star suddenly turns into a black hole, it can potentially leave nothing behind. And though this has never been directly observed, mostly because it's obviously very difficult to see, it kind of has been predicted before. And so could all of these stars just be gone? Because they all became black holes. And here we might have our first really intriguing evidence. The answer could potentially be yes. For the first time ever, we actually have direct evidence of at least one such black hole, very likely formed as a result of a direct collapse, without any supernova remnants, and without any disturbance in the entire star system, basically proving to us that black holes do indeed collapse from really massive stars, just like that, without any fanfare, without any announcements. And in order to understand what's happening here, we have to look at a star system discovered two years ago, an unusual system known as VFTS-243. This is in the Large Magellanic Cloud, in a famous Tarantula Nebula. Now, this nebula is really important because this is actually where we find some of the most massive stars ever seen. As a matter of fact, the record holder, the star that could be about 300 solar masses, is also in this nebula. That star is known as R136A1, and you can learn more about this in some of the videos in the description. And well, one of the main reasons this particular star system is so exciting is because by looking at the star, the researchers discovered something really intriguing. Here, by using something similar to radial velocity method, where we usually find different planets, and by essentially looking at the star and observing slight red shifts and blue shifts of the star, the scientists discovered that something is orbiting here as well. But not a tiny planet, 
because the red shifts and the blue shifts were massive. Instead, this object was quite obviously orbited by some kind of an invisible, ultra-dense object. But because no additional emissions were produced, the only thing that would make sense here is a slightly distant black hole, and a really massive black hole. The black hole here is about 10 solar masses, whereas the star itself is approximately 25 solar masses, with the star just over 7 million years old. And though obviously we don't see the black hole, we see the star. And the orbital motion, or the red shifts and blue shifts, definitely tell us it has a really massive partner. But so far none of this is unusual. These binary systems exist everywhere, and this is kind of expected to be produced as the stars get older. As a matter of fact, even this star has a chance of becoming a black hole because it's relatively massive. And so this will probably eventually become a black hole binary. But there is something very strange about the star system based on the orbit. Unlike a lot of previous observations from other star systems, here it's quite apparent that this black hole seems to orbit around the star in a very circular manner. And because the star system is only a few million years old, this actually creates a bit of a problem for how exactly this black hole formed. Now, in a typical scenario, we obviously expect a star to go supernova and to eventually leave behind a remnant such as a black hole or a neutron star. And in pretty much most of these cases, we also usually find a lot of gas and a supernova remnant which can last for thousands and thousands of years. We've actually recently discussed some of the most famous ones in the Milky Way galaxy, with several exciting discoveries you can learn more about in one of the videos in the description. But in this case, first of all, there was obviously no supernova remnant, but more intriguingly, the orbit was almost perfectly circular. And that's very unusual, because in most cases, when a star goes supernova, it's never really perfect, and it's usually extremely chaotic. As the star explodes and as it forms this huge cloud expanding in every direction, it's pretty much always a little bit one-sided. It's never really symmetrical. And as a result of this asymmetry, it usually produces what the scientists refer to as a natal kick. Or basically the neutron star or the black hole produced by the supernova acquires a vector of velocity in a certain direction, which by itself is usually really random and can even be really high. Here's actually one of the more extreme examples. These are known as cannonball pulsars, or essentially neutron stars that received such a huge natal kick that they actually started to move through their supernova remnant at very high velocities, almost resembling some kind of a comet. And in some cases they actually move at really high velocities, up to several thousand kilometers per second. But that's of course the extreme case. In a typical case, they still get some kind of a kick, but this just usually results in their orbit becoming a lot more eccentric and a lot more extreme. And this is basically how we usually get so many X-ray binaries, or basically various black holes consuming a lot of mass from their partner star and releasing all of this as powerful energy visible in the X-rays. And so a typical supernova is usually going to result in at least some kind of a natal kick. Yet strangely enough, in this particular star system, even though it's kind of young, it seems to show no signs of such a kick or no signs of supernova remnant either. And though at first this was a bit of a speculation, it has now been officially confirmed by several studies and presents a kind of a really intriguing mystery, or potentially a major solution. Because the main explanation now suggests that this is actually a result of a direct collapse without a supernova and without any other transitional stages. And so here what we seem to have is a relatively massive star basically instantly becoming a black hole, disappearing from the night skies without any announcements. With the implication from the study being that this is exactly what happened in these vanishing stars discovered back in 2019, and maybe black hole formation is a lot more diverse and more mysterious than we ever believed. Now obviously why this happens nobody knows, I mean it could be some kind of a failed supernova, or maybe this is a mechanism that we've never really explored before, but because black hole collapse was previously proposed by other studies, having this evidence is really important. Although obviously here, to make this official, we would obviously have to find more similar objects and more evidence that this is widespread. And because these black holes would also not really emit a lot of light, remaining rogue black holes traveling across the Milky Way galaxy, at the moment there is unfortunately no way for us to directly detect these and to confirm if this is what happened to those stars. But by finding similar binaries to this one, with perfect orbits and without signs of supernova, we might actually have more evidence that this is exactly what happened here. And so yeah, unfortunately, not aliens, not unusual physics or some unexplained phenomena, 
but possibly just more black holes, which suggests that black holes might actually even be more common than we ever thought. But we'll definitely come back and talk more about this once there are some additional discoveries, because this mystery is super intriguing. I mean, here we're talking about over a thousand stars disappearing from the Milky Way galaxy, with currently no actual explanation everyone accepts. But looks like this one might be the one that a lot of scientists are going to be leaning toward, just because we finally have that one piece of evidence. And so on that note, we'll come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos, Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who will learn about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.